Hi, it's Robbie from Southern California. I figured I'm gonna try to fix this and I'll show you real quick how I do it. This really, this fountain needs to take, be taken apart, scrubbed, but I don't have time right now. I'm gonna do that a little bit later. And I clean the panel, the panel's doing fine. That's not the issue. So let's look inside and see if I can do a quick fix on this and you can watch me as I do it. So like I said, this really needs to be taken apart. My hose fell in here, but I would really have to sit down at a table and take it apart. So we're gonna do this right now. Just gonna lift it, then I'll come back later and scrub all this and take the pump off. So let's take, and then this hose I can see needs to be fit, cleaned out too. You can do that too with the pipe cleaner or something. But I think this has got the problem in here. So we're gonna snap this open on this side. The side that's open, let me see if you can see this. See, this has got holes here. This side does not. This is the simple little water fountain features I use all the time. We're gonna pull this off. Now, you could use a knife, a pocket knife or something. I don't have one on me, which I should have had, but usually if I work at it, I can get it off. There we go. Now we got, oh my goodness. Look how full of algae this is. Can you see that? all full of algae. Well, we're going to do a quick fix because normally I would take this off. I'm going to pull that cap off. And you know what? I need something to pull the cap off. I'm going to see if Mother Nature has something for me. A piece of bark. Yep. Let's see if we can pull that off. I should have had a pocket knife. I do not. Okay. So we got that off. And oh yeah, it's dirty. Look at this. I want you to see this. I'm going to tell you something. I have never had one of these break. There's nothing to it. There's a magnet here, and when that magnet gets dirty or hard water builds up on it, it will not work. This is how easy it is to clean in the garden. Now, like I said, I'm going to come back later. I'm going to scrape this all off with my nail. If I had something, I would clean the inside. Let's see something. I'm going to do this. This is crazy. I'm going to use a piece of walking onion to just clean the inside a little bit. Just wipe it out a little bit. Loosen that up. I don't even have water with me. Best way to do is rinse it. This is like a, this is a quick fix only. Just gonna clean out all the crud and get that out. Now here is where the problem usually comes about. Either something like algae built up, piece of grass got in there, leaf matter, but a lot of times it just needs a simple sanding Again, I don't have anything, but we're gonna just scrape that off and make sure that this magnet's got good contact with that. Now let's see what happens when I drop this back in. No, oh, there it goes! Look at this, look at this! Hear it? That's what it needed. This is a very quick fix. We're gonna put this back. There's a little dot there and a little dot there. It's a, it's, this has got like the little pin here. It's plastic. You put that in there. This thing is just buzzing away. This really does need to be clean. See all the algae? I'm gonna clean it in the water that's here. I shouldn't, but I'm gonna come back later, dump all this, scrub this out. Okay, now we're gonna put, snap it all back together. You'll see, very easy. There, there's nothing to this. This really does need to be cleaned out too. I can see that this pipe, what I should have is a pipe cleaner, a Q-tip, and clean the inside. This needs to be a good cleaning. But for now, this is just a quick fix. Literally, no joke, gonna go under the water. Look at this. There it goes, under the water. Put this back until I do a really good fit clean on it. We should start to get some water out of here. You know what, that pipe does need to be cleaned. All right, so what's happened here is I need to get a pipe cleaner and clean that pipe out. So hold on, let me go see if I've got a pipe cleaner after all this. I'm back. I'm gonna go ahead, I found a pipe cleaner. I keep one in the garden. I hear it buzzing, but I think see, the pump is working. The pump is working good. I really should clean this out really good. The pump is working great. It is the pipe. And the other thing, like I said, I'm going to have to, yeah, it is the pipe. I need to take this all apart and it is gonna be a little bit of an ordeal because I built this one. There's something stuck in there. See, the pipe cleaner doesn't wanna go through. 
is the pipe? There's the pipe light in there. Let's see. The pump's working great. It's my pipe right now that's not working. This is raw footage. You get to see me actually doing this now. Let's see if I can get it to blow through now. Okay, I think my pipe moved. And I think the problem is the pipe. This thing. Ay, ay, ay. It wasn't even attached. That's what I said. The pipe came out. I'm going to have to take this all apart. But this is how you do a quick fix, which means the pipe is working. I don't want to leave this. The birds like it the way it goes. I'm going to have to put it all back together. There is no joke on these little tiny fountains. They really don't break. They need a good cleaning periodically. I need to fix this pipe. I think there is something stuck in this pipe. And I can't get this to go. Oh, there we go. So the problem is this. Now, how do I, you know what? I can turn the fountain around. I turn the panel, I should say, around. How am I going to get this back up? Here's my issue. This is why I didn't want to do this right now. I built this and I did not make the hole big enough to make it easy. Let me see if I can force it through. You know what? I am lucky enough. My lucky day, I can get the pipe through. And I see exactly what I have to do. I have to shorten the pipe. I have to shorten the pipe. It's kinked. This is literally raw footage. Raw footage! And we'll come back here, wash this up, put this back in, get this all cleaned up for the birds. Well, let's see now. Let me turn the panel back. There we go. So please do not throw away your fountains. A good scrubbing on this one. I'll have it as good as new. All you need to do is take that, pop that apart, do it. I wouldn't, I'm going to tell you something. Do as I say, not as I do. You don't want to do it in your garden where you're going to drop your parts and lose your parts. I have not done that yet, but I know that's coming, and then I'm going to say, why didn't I tell people to do that? It's best to take it in or take it to a table, maybe with a pan, something you can put all your little parts in, clean them up, and put them back together. But there you go. You saw this uncut. That's it. And now I will come back, clean this all up, scrub out my inside there, the water, Clean this up and the birds are going to love this. They love this fountain. So with that, have a wonderful day. Get a solar fountain when, you know, it's just so much fun. And keep in mind, when they stop working, I rarely have, I don't even think I've ever had one totally break. It's usually that unless something chews your cord. And I've had that. If something comes through and chews the cord, well, you know what? You can wire that back together because I've cut through and so has Gary. There it is. The fountain is done. We're going to come back, scrub this up later, but it works. Pump works. Everything's clean. And I am going to go in, get my stuff done, and then come back, tackle that thing, and just clean the inside. Just have to take it apart, scrub it, and let the birds do their thing. With that, have a wonderful day. And don't forget to eat with your grub. Bye-bye. Just wanted to show you, I did come back. Look how beautiful it is. It's all cleaned. Gorgeous inside, all scrubbed and cleaned. Just needed a simple cleaning and that was it. And look at that. All set up, everything clean and ready for all the birds.